Welcome to NFL Picks Week 6. Uh, last week was a rough week. I, I called Pop today to get his picks, and I'm like, hey, man, we got to get together. We, we got we, we, I mean, we, we third and fourth, man. We got to get it together, bro. So um, last week, um, I think Ice won eight games. He was eight and six. Black was seven and seven. I was six and eight, and Pop was six and eight. I still leads by two games over Black and four games over me with a 52 and 26 record. Black is coming up behind him with a 50 and 28 record. Pop has a 49 and 29 record, and I have a 48 and 30 record. Ice, rude, ugly, man. What do you think? Rough week, bro, but you got to get in where you've been in. You still got to take chances. Keep trying to tell y'all. So when they all go to the left, your boy go to the right. <laughs> J E T S J J J. J J J baby. And the Bengals? Are y'all serious? Trying to tag y'all? Messing with Lil Joe. Lil Joe said, "Wait, man. I think I'm gonna go out here and lay down." And not only that, as I get off this point real quick, I'm running. Y'all think I messed up? Watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, let's get it going. The pick order is Ice goes first, followed by me, Pop, and then Black goes last. First game on tap is Denver at Kansas City. Ice, who you got? There's so many injuries. Is it possible for Denver? To, it's been so crazy. Do I... Hell no. Nah. Cheat Kansas City. <laughs> I don't care. If they lose, then that's okay. Because I want to see somebody else step over and say, you're going to choose Denver, <laughs> who lost to the Jets over Kansas City. I'll take this loss, but that's what it is. I don't know where hell. Uh, I'm done with Peyton and uh, uh, whatever that coach's name is, and uh, Russ. I'm going with Kansas City, so it's Pop. Black, who you got? Kansas City across the board, man. Let's keep it going, man. All right. Next game on tap is Baltimore. You let me down, Baltimore Ooh. at Tennessee. All right, so you got? They did let me down. Uh, I don't know what Pittsburgh was on, but, again, like I said, I, don't, I ain't going to say it's fixed, but – TV has a way of making things do a certain <laughs> Pittsburgh winning game. You're like, what the hell Pittsburgh with that game? I turned it off. Defense. I'm like, my man gonna do his thing. I turned it off. I can't believe in them Titans, bro. I think my man gonna be in London. I think he, he ain't gonna be, he, he's not gonna be that bad two weeks in a row. I'm still going with, with Marmar. I'm going with Baltimore in London. If it was in Tennessee, I might figure it out. Marmar in London, he gonna be getting all of the, the, the hoagies and doing all the riding the buses. Marmar, let's go. I'm going to go with Marmar one more week. <laughs> they tested my patience. Pop is, oddly enough, going with Tennessee. Uh, Black, who you got? Yeah, I mean, it's not Marmar's fault, man. If you look at those receivers, he was sitting them in their hands. They were just, like, dropping. Bang, bang. I mean, big time dropping. So, and he's running well, too. So, Marmar is doing his thing. These receivers got to come to the forefront. Help him out. They will this week. I'm taking, uh, taking the Ravens. Okay. Next game on tap is Washington at ATL, Atlanta. Those Falcons got in got in that booty last week. All right, so who you got? Man, I feel for the commanders. I feel for my uh, offensive coordinator over there. But I told y'all a while, I said that I like Atlanta. I like the way they're going uh, from the standpoint of uh, the quarterback. You got a Ritter. You got the wide You got the running back, right? And uh, B. John, and then you also got uh, London. They are slowly but surely putting something together, and the defense is getting a little hype, too. That's enough for me. Atlanta at home. All right. Um, Washington's quarterback is shell-shocked. He's been getting whacked all we every week. Uh, Got to go with Atlanta. Papa's going with ATL also. Black? I'm going with Atlanta. Watch your Magic Johnson be in the south of talking about the game. <laughs> <laughs> Next game on tap is Minnesota and Chicago. Oh, this is going to be an ugly one here in Chicago. Uh, Ice, who you got? If it was on Thursday night, I'll pick Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not Thursday, and poor Justin Fields. Kudos to Justin Fields, though. Because Justin Fields stepped his game up, and everybody been talking about it. He was like, the hell with that. I can still play with epilepsy and every damn thing. I'm still showing you I still got game. The hell with y'all. But not this week, bro. He had a nice run. Minnesota's going to find a way, despite Kirk Cousins, to win this game. I don't understand what they're doing. I don't get it. Uh, even without Justin Jefferson, may not play, maybe. But I'm still going with Minnesota. Yeah, this is going to be a dogfight. I'm I'm going with uh, Minnesota also. Pop is going with Minnesota. Black, who you got? 
Yeah, I can't take the Bears, man. Oh, I got to take the Minnesota. I, I close my ass when the Bears play. Just wait till the score. The game was over. Check the score. I'll take the bikes. Yeah, and I'm just looking at the weather report. It's a 40% chance of participation. It's going to be a, a ugly one. Next game on tap is Seattle at Cincinnati. Cincinnati burned me bad last week. Um, I see who you got. Going with those Bengals? Well, you know, hey, they went way out west. If you didn't think they were going to get it done. And your boy Joe Burrow said, Psh. not only am I going to do that, we're going to my man been crying for the ball. We're gonna break the the, the uh, catch record for the for the squad on the same day. And he like, we back, we back, we back. So uh, I know about the quarterback of Seattle. I know defense plays well, but Joe said I'm running again, bro. So I'm going with the Bengals at home. Yeah, uh, Seattle's uh, defense is is really uh, banged up. So uh, I, I got to go with Cincinnati at home. Pop is going with Cincinnati. Black, who you got? Yeah, I want to take Seattle. I really do. But uh, they said that they look good last week. Granted, it was against the Cardinals. But, yeah, when Joe ran that long run, I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm going to go with the Bengals. He's this week. I'm going to take the <laughs> He's putting it. He's playing possum, as Pop would say. Um, next game on tap is San Francisco at Cleveland. All right, so you got. Deshaun Watson, come on, baby. Let's get it. I know you're ready. Let's get it. After the way they select. Shellac Jack <laughs> in the Cowboys, bro. Shellac. Trying to tell y'all about that bull, y'all. Well, you know, I know. No, no. Sometimes that you gotta step the fuck up. That's how your team gonna win. You had no chance of hell winning that game. I got that. Not just you, but a few people got to let's stop that contender crap, okay? Let's call free tenders and not contenders. Anyway, we're talking about a whole different game. San Francisco is a well oiled machine. And and Purdy just got to choose who he wanted to be, and that's why I'm glad you're my fantasy quarterback right now. He just got to choose, <laughs> choose who he want, and the defense too. And McCaffrey have a couple fumbles and everything. They are on a mission. They wearing t-shirts talking about other teams and call people out their name. They nasty. So with that being said, Deshaun, you might want to stay on the bench one more week, bro. I'm going with San Francisco. Yeah. Parsons, I know you have a podcast and you talk about, oh, they made it personal. The game's over. The game's over. <laughs> they they were just man. I've never seen a team in the NFL. Old school used to do this. They hit those holes so hard and so fast, San Francisco, those backs. It's like you got to a point where Dallas was afraid to tackle them or run up in the hole to tackle them. That's how, oh man, they were bullying them. They were bullying them. I've never seen that before. McCaffrey. Bam, hitting the gaps, hitting the gaps, hitting the gaps. And I'm like, these guys don't want to tackle. So me and Pop going with San Francisco, Black? I'm going to tell you something, man. When, it, when your team can take out, basically put your preseason team on the field defensively, you get two interceptions, raw, it's over. And I, I, I'm happy. You know, we know what Dak is, but that cat talk about that linebacker, you need to shift, whatever it is, shut your mouth, bro. Just go play football. Because you run your yap way too much. Got the dirt and said, we're on the same level. They just came, they just basically zoomed you out of the orbit. You ain't on the same level with them. You couldn't even see the quarterback just pushing you around so much. I'm serious, man. Stop all this cocky, humble yourself. You can go back and do what? Then you got a nerve. That fat coach got a nerve to come out and call your offense the Texas Coast offense? What the hell? What the, what the, what the, what the, I'm taking Sam Fran. I'm taking Sam. Texas Coast off. I laughed at that. You ever see the Texaco oh, throwing five eight yard passes? Let's not forget they ran McCarthy out of Green Bay. Yeah. For, for calling the plays. Ran them out. Okay. Yeah. Next game on taps. Carolina at Miami. I right, see so you got. Yeah, little dude back on there. Is he back? Uh yeah, he's back. <laughs> I don't yeah, know if it's gonna make a difference. Huh? No, it's not gonna make a difference. Miami is. They're they trying to uh, – and the sad thing about it, too, is Carolina's on the road. So, you know, it's even worse. You might have a chance at home. But uh, I told you, if it was me, I was sitting down. I play him every other week. <laughs> Depends on who we play. <laughs> and let him get some more understand of what's going on and then put him out there. You don't do that to Miami. Miami is trying to turn some things around. I think they have an easy win. So, I'm going with Miami. Yeah, me and Papa going with Miami. Black, who you got? Same here, Miami. Yeah, let's roll with Miami. Miami across the board. Uh, next game on tap. This is going to be a tough one. Indianapolis at Jacksonville. All right, so you got. So the Indianapolis quarterback is out for 
at least four weeks because the injury was her. Yeah. Me shoot, man. I don't know. My brother dude, he been trying to get it done. He been trying to get it done. Tell you what, if it was in Indianapolis. But the running back's back, right? Taylor, yeah. Yeah. Nah, your boy been balled. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going with Jacksonville. ETN, baby. ETN, we getting it in. Defense been playing well. I'm going to go with Jacksonville at home. All right, me and Papa going with Jacksonville. Black, who you got? Yeah, I think Jacksonville got the group back, but I really do. Um, I like Minshew. I really do, but I think it's going to be enough Jacksonville. Yeah, and he's going back maybe for revenge because uh, he was with Jacksonville yeah. before the uh, new quarterback came in. Uh, next game on tap is New Orleans at Houston. Oh, this is the, just the ugly one. Who you got, man? Oh my God. <laughs> I love Houston. I oh, love, this is a tough one. I love Houston. I'm going to go with New Orleans, man. All right. It breaks my heart. I mean, I love Houston. I think they're very close. New Orleans defense still has a little some, a little screw they can turn. And yeah. unfortunately for them, he needs more people. These guys are dropping passes for Stroud. You know, a lot of things like that, too. They start catching the ball. I think they're going to turn the corner. I love the Houston coach. I think they're on their way. It's not this week. Yeah, I just don't think they have enough for New Orleans. Even uh, Carr got back. They had some big plays last week. Uh, I'm going with New Orleans. Papa's going with New Orleans. Uh, Black, we got? Yeah, I'm going to take New Orleans. But even though, you know, I, I'm going ice with you. Houston is coming. They're just not there yet, man. I picked them last week. They should have put that game away last week. But they had it. They just couldn't. Yeah. They really had it. But they just, they're, they're going to get it. They're not there yet. So I'll take New Orleans. All right, New Orleans across the board. <laughs> this is going to be an ugly game. New England and uh, Josh McDaniels um, team, the Las Vegas Raiders are up next. Las Vegas is at home for this, I think, the second week in a row. All right, so you got? Even Christmas. It's like watching two cars that are damaged going to, about to run into one another. Who's going to survive the head collision, head-on collision? <laughs> and the sad thing about it is, Belichick knows exactly how the Raiders are going to do everything. But he don't have the horses to, to ride. Uh -huh. He doesn't have the horses to ride to get him there, though. Yeah, but that's Belichick. You can send a mind control over there. <laughs> All of a sudden, Mike Jones started looking like, like Burt Jones. Start making pass. But uh, I want to, but I can't, I can't do it. I think there's enough still there. I'm going to go with the Raiders. Right. Um, yeah, the pupil will beat the uh the teacher uh with the Raiders. Pop pick the Raiders also. Black, who you got? Jimmy Garoppolo, three interceptions from that. They still won. Think about that for a second. <laughs> three interceptions, man. He got the nerve that they we played well the defense. Three interceptions. I would have told him no, I, I can't talk tonight. I'm gonna take the Raiders. Man. Three. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, Raiders defense, they were, they were stepping up. They were stepping up, doing whatever they could do. Next game on tap is Arizona at the Los Angeles Rams. Arizona, you broke my heart. Who you got? <laughs> right out, you broke my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Burrow broke your heart, brother. Yeah, he did too. <laughs> um, you got to love the effort of Arizona, right? The quarterback, they just they're trying. Yeah, when Connor went down, I was like, uh, that's it. Yeah, they just don't have enough. But uh Matthew Stafford, love him or hate him. He like, you ain't coming over here like that. Are you serious? I got this young, fresh, wide receiver, don't nobody know nothing about. What do you got? Stanford, Harvard, commit Columbia, wherever the hell he's from, and he's making things happen. That's enough for me. Rams. Yeah, Cooper Cup is back, and so I gotta go with the LA Rams. Um, Pop is going with the Rams. Black? Yes, he's one right here, man. Coop, like you said, Coop is back. Yeah, he had a lot of catches in the first half last week. I'll take the Rams easily. Yeah. Right. Rams in the sweep. Next game on tap. This should be easy. Philadelphia at the New York Jets. Ice? Jets, Jets, Jets. Yeah, it's your Jets, team. Jets. It's your team. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 be trying to, don't be trying to cheer me on. Y'all wait. Pull it up. Come on, man. Hey, hey, y'all went down. Y'all, I heard Puma talking about, you going to be sorry. You wait till you know what it's like to be a real New York fan. No, nobody give a damn about that. I'm week to week. Week to week. Um, they just don't have enough, man. I love y'all. I know you're at home. I told you last week, because I know y'all can get it done. 
but your core, you don't have enough of a quarterback to beat Philadelphia. They will make plays despite what's going on. And even when they struggle, uh, the defense is going to be too much for Mr. Wilson. They're gonna, I think they're going to end up bringing in another backup quarterback because he's going to be running for his life. That's enough for me. Philadelphia. I know that uh, the Bears are kicking themselves with that defensive uh, end that they didn't pick up in the draft. And he, he might be the rookie of the year for Philly. So I'm going with Philly. Pop is going with Philly. Black, who you got? Yeah, I think Philly, you know, they, when I said Jacksonville, they, they, last week, Philly really kind of stepped in. That quarterback, that receiver kind of got back on the same page. And I think Philly also sensed that for that division, it's all theirs now. Yeah. They realized that it could be there. They beat the Cowboys twice and keep winning. They know they're the driver's seat, man. So they're going to come out this weekend, man, please. I'm taking the Eagles. Yeah, it's theirs for the taking. Next game yeah. on track. And I call, I, I text Eddie on this one. Uh, Detroit at Tampa Bay. All right, so you got. What did he say? I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Eddie, man. I know I came at you hard last week, bro. Don't don't take it first. No, you my cat. You know, it's all love. W. That's my you know, insider. It won't, it won't forever. So he told you that. Okay. Um, they look awesome, man. I don't know though. I've been riding with them all for all year. Mm-hmm. Damn. How I many what I got two up on black? <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get him to lose. Huh? You gotta get him to lose a couple. Come on, man. It's uh, only week six. Couple. I'm just looking at one, dog. Don't don't do that. I just need to be one ahead of you every week. One. That's all I want. Just one. Baker, Baker, the faker. We're going with uh, Tampa Bay at home. Okay. All right. Bay at home. Yep. I wanted to pick Tampa Bay. They had a week off. They were bye week last week, but uh, my boy Ed said go with the Lions. So I'm going with the Lions. I'm going with Detroit Lions. Black, who you got? Those Lions are wrong, but I'm going to take the Lions too. Uh, they were wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Ice. <laughs> I'll give hey, you man, Wait a minute. Let me ask one last question. <laughs> <laughs> let me ask well, one question. Who did Pop pick? I picked Detroit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we see a pattern. <laughs> we see a pattern. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. What, what, what? They went where? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Y'all, y'all, good luck with that. All right. Uh, next game on tap, the New York Giants at Buffalo. Who you got, Ice? Who y'all going to pick? The Giants on this one, too? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. The way the Buffalo was so horrible and, and overseas and drinking all the Kool-Aid, whatever they was doing over there, and coming back home. And uh, it's like every week that they get embarrassed, they come back the next week and look like a Super Bowl, not a Super Bowl team, at least a playoff contending team. And that's enough for me. I think they're going to blast uh, the Giants. And the Giants, unfortunately, your running back's like, I ain't playing. No. <laughs> They're not. Yeah. Yeah, for what? I don't blame you. So I'm going with Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, I got a feeling, Black, that Tyrod Taylor going to play instead of Jones. And they, they're not announcing it yet. But I got to go with Buffalo. I don't trust Buffalo. I don't trust the Giants, but I trust the Giants less. Um, so I got to go with Buffalo. But if Tyrod Taylor plays, oh, man. Uh, Pop is going with Buffalo. Black, who you got? Yeah, I said this last week, man. I said this is the type of game Buffalo can Jacksonville. Buffalo will go out there. And, and kind of, even I took them, I kind of feel they're not going to do that this week, though. They'll go out there and beat the Giants. I don't care if Tyrod plays or not, man. And I, I'm loving it. Saquon Barkley, mm. Don't hit the field, bro. Don't even don't even try to hit the field. To pick up your paychecks, hurt the other angle if you need to. Keep it moving, boss. Yeah. Last game is a Monday night. You talk about Pittsburgh being an all network game. Dallas is on another network game <laughs> Monday night against the Los Angeles Chargers. All right, so you got. Man, this is tough as hell. Cause I know this is like watching, he's like, which one is the worst situation, right? You think about the old Dallas uh, offense coordinator yeah. with, with them, and you know what they do and what they don't do. And the way that Dallas got blew out last week, I don't know, man. You know, the issue is that uh, the Chargers have issues up front. Dak's going to have a lot of time. But is he going to be able to get anybody the ball? Who do you got, Black Thor? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, man. You want, I'll, I'll, go, I'll give you my pick, bro. I'll give you. You in the leader. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you two things for the price of one. I'm taking the charges. I'm gonna come out here and sit right here on the October 11th. The Cowboys, man, good possibly will not make the playoffs, bro. I can see that. I'm looking at this schedule. They're not gonna make it, man. 
They're not going to, unless they sleek in as a wild card, they're not making it. Look at this schedule. They're not making They lose this game. They got the Rams coming up. They got the Buffalo coming up. They got, they're not, they're not making it, bro. They're not making it. Not with that defense. Not with that defense getting pumped and that quarterback throwing it up for grabs. No, I'm taking the Chargers, man. Who are you taking? <laughs> My heart, my heart says Dallas, right? Uh, yeah. But my head says old offensive coordinator. Dak, you ain't showed it to me. It's Monday night. You can't, you can't, you can't get anybody the ball. I mean, even if the defense comes back around, you got some people hurt. They cannot get anybody the ball. And I think the old offensive coordinator knows knows the the he has the, the sequence, and that's enough. Charges at home, despite the coach. Only way they lose this game, unless the coach blow it, which he has done several times. And I don't see that this week because every time I go against the Chargers, they find a way to win. Yeah. Dak Prescott, meet Khalil Mack. All game long. Going with the Chargers. Pop is going with Dallas. He's going with his boys. So Black is going with the Chargers. It's three with the Chargers, one with Dallas. Those are our picks. Check them out on Facebook. We will see you next week. Peace. <laughs>